Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will study scrotal ultrasound. We have longitudinal and transverse views of the testes. In the longitudinal view, the testis is more elongated than in the transverse view. The normal testis has a homogeneous echo texture with a medium level echogenicity. The length is between 4 to 5 centimeters, the width is between 2 to 4 centimeters, and the diameter is between 3 to 5 centimeters. Its volume is approximately 20 ml and the scrotal wall thickness is between 2 to 8 millimeters. The tunica vaginalis and albuginia are seen together as a hyperechoic border outlining the testis. In this transverse view, we can see both the testes. Here is the right testes and here is the left testes. The mediastinum testis is seen as a linear hypoechoic structure in the testes. The RT testis is not easily visualized but appears hypoechoic and is located near the mediastinum testis. The spectral Doppler waveforms of the testis have a low resistance flow. This is the systolic velocity and here is the diastolic velocity. It has a large quantity of forward diastolic flow. In polyorchidism, there is an extra testis which is isoechoic to normal testis. It will be smaller in size. It is also called supernumerary testis. Here is another image showing the extra testis behind the right testis. Cryptorchidism refers to absence of testis and also includes undescended, ectopic or atrophic testis. Here we see a small, hypoechoic, atrophic, undescended testis in the inguinal region. In this transverse view, we can see the atrophic left testis is smaller and more hypoechoic than the normal right testis. In a hydrocele, there is an anechoic fluid collection seen outside the testis. You can also notice posterior acoustic enhancement over here. Appendix testis is an accessory testicular tissue found between the upper pole of the testis and the head of the epididymis. It is more easily visualized when there is a hydrocele. It can measure 1 to 4 millimeters in length. In torsion of appendix testis, it is enlarged and can measure 6 millimeters or more. There will be absence of internal flow on Doppler. This feature can tell us that there is torsion of the appendix testis. Encysted spermatic cord hydrocel is a fluid collection above the testis. This fluid collection will not surround the testis and won't connect with the peritoneum above. It is usually anechoic and oval shaped. The funicular spermatic cord hydrocel will communicate with the peritoneum. As you can see, it is open from here. So there is a connection with the peritoneum. It is the second type of spermatic cord hydrocele. A hematocel and a pyocele have similar appearances. They consist of a complex cyst outside the testis with internal echoes and septations. Posterior enhancement will be present. A hematocele contains blood as a result of trauma and a pyocele consists of pus and is due to infection. A scrotolith is a calcification in the scrotal sac. It will appear hyperechoic and can be mobile. It often has posterior shadowing. In this image we can also see a hydrocele. 
tunica albuginea cyst is a small anechoic cyst in this layer which may be unilocular or multilocular which means it can have septations the diameter is between 2 to 5 mm and there are no solid internal echoes in tubular ectasia of reti testis there are numerous small anechoic cysts which give a honeycomb or fishnet appearance in this image there is no internal flow seen with doppler and there is no mass effect these features differentiate it from testicular tumors and cancers a varico seal means there is dilatation of the pampiniform plexus which are various small veins in the spermatic cord the dilated veins give a serpentine appearance which looks like this there are different ways to grade a varico seal the one used here is based on mean diameter of the veins there are three grades in grade 1 the mean diameter is 3 to 4 mm on valsalva maneuver there is 1 mm increase in diameter in grade 2 varico seal the mean diameter is 4 to 5 mm on valsalva maneuver the diameter increases by 1.2 to 1.5 mm in grade 3 varico seal the mean diameter is 5 mm or more and on valsalva maneuver the increase in diameter is greater than 1.5 mm limited testicular microlithiasis consists of tiny calcifications inside the testis that are less than 5 in number here we have three calcifications they don't have any shadowing and measure 1 to 3 millimeters in diameter classic testicular microlithiasis will have five or more tiny calcifications here we can see many small calcifications but there are still some areas which don't have any calcifications in diffuse testicular microlithiasis you can see a large number of tiny calcifications in both the right and left testes in the case of testicular sarcoidosis the testis contains multiple hypoechoic structures spread throughout the organ cyst adenoma of the reti testis is a rare tumor the cystic structure will contain multiple septations followed by posterior acoustic enhancement here is another image of cyst adenoma of reti testis it is a cystic structure with multiple septations a lipoma in a testis will appear as a well-defined hyperechoic mass without any posterior acoustic shadowing fibrous pseudotumor is found outside the testis as a solid mass with variable echogenicity we can distinguish it from tumors and cancers by looking at the cause it occurs due to infection surgery or trauma adrenal rest tumor is associated with congenital adrenal hyperplasia it is bilateral and usually appears hypoechoic or heterogeneous here is a doppler image of adrenal rest tumor it shows low internal vascularity on color doppler adenomatoid tumor has variable appearances it can appear hyperechoic or isoechoic to testes or heterogeneous usually it is well defined and oval shaped Splenogonadal fusion is a rare congenital condition in which splenic tissue is found in the testes. You can see that it somewhat resembles splenic tissue. It is homogeneous and either hypoechoic 
or isoechoic to the testis. On color Doppler, the splenic tissue will show hypervascularity. It is difficult to distinguish it from a testicular malignancy. Lymphoma is a testicular malignancy which is not very common. There will be a hypoechoic ill-defined mass. Both the testis and the epididymis will be enlarged. On color Doppler, there will be hypervascularity inside the mass. Metastasis to testes are very rare. They have variable echogenicity and can be bilateral. Here is an image of scrotal hernia. There is herniation of abdominal contents in the scrotal sac. Usually peritoneal fat or bowel loops are herniated. Here we see peritoneal fat next to the testis in the scrotal sac. In testicular torsion, there is twisting of the spermatic cord which can cut off blood supply to the testis. One classic sign on ultrasound is the whirlpool sign. It appears as a spiral twist in the spermatic cord. There are alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic rings. This is a transverse view showing both the testes. There is torsion of left testes. You can see it is hyperechoic and larger than the normal right testis and there is also scrotal wall thickening. Here we have the whirlpool sign. We can see it better with color Doppler. You can compare it with the normal spermatic cord flow. Also, there is a hydrocele caused by the torsion. In case of partial testicular torsion, there will be reduced blood flow within the testis. We can examine that with spectral Doppler. Here we have the normal spectral waveform showing normal systolic and diastolic flow. And over here there is absent diastolic flow. The resistive index will be greater than 0.75. In this image, we have complete testicular torsion. Color Doppler is applied, but there is complete absence of blood flow within the testis. This image shows a late finding of testicular torsion. The testis appears heterogeneous. The hypoechoic areas represent necrosis, and the hyperechoic areas represent hemorrhage. Orchitis is the inflammation of the testis. The testis will be hypoechoic and swollen. The scrotal wall thickening will also be seen. On color Doppler, hypervascularity will be seen in the inflamed testis. You can see a large amount of blood flow in the affected testis. Focal orchitis can also occur and we will see a focal hypoechoic and hypervascular area. In testicular ruptures and infarcts, there is disruption of tunica albuginea. The testis appears heterogeneous and a hematocele can also be seen. Testicular fracture is due to trauma. There will be a hypoechoic line passing through the testis. A portion of the testis has been separated. This hypoechoic line is blood. A seminoma is a type of germ cell tumor. Usually it appears as a homogeneous hypoechoic mass. In this image there is a large seminoma. If the mass is large, it can appear heterogeneous. A yolk sac tumor is the most common testicular tumor in children. It is very rare in adults. It is also known as endodermal sinus tumor of testis. There is a large heterogeneous testis. 
Embryonic cell carcinoma is a malignant lesion of testis. It can appear as a large heterogeneous testicular mass. Testicular teratoma is a mixed germ cell tumor. This tumor has a heterogeneous mass with cystic areas. Here is another image of teratoma. It has a cystic mass with multiple septations. A testicular teratoma can also have hyperechoic fatty areas and no posterior shadowing. A teratoma can have variable appearances. An epidermoid cyst is a rare benign tumor. It has an onion skin or world appearance consisting of alternating hypoechoic and hyperechoic rings. Here we have another image of an epidermoid cyst. It has an onion skin appearance. It will not have any internal flow on Doppler. A burned out testis tumor appears as a hyperechoic mass within the testis. Usually it is calcified and has posterior acoustic shadowing. It is malignant. The normal epididymis is slightly hypoechoic. The head measures 5 to 12 millimeters, the body measures 2 to 4 millimeters, and the tail measures 2 to 5 millimeters. Epididymitis is the inflammation of the epididymis. Here the head is enlarged and also heterogeneous. In these images we can see the body and the tail of the epididymis. You can notice that in epididymitis, the body and tail are heterogeneous as compared to the normal images. On color Doppler, there is increased blood flow due to inflammation. The peak systolic velocity or PSV will be more than 15 centimeters per second. In an epididymal abscess, there will be a hypoechoic or heterogeneous area. There is absence of any internal blood flow on Doppler. The epididymis will be enlarged. Epididymal head cyst is seen as an anechoic well-defined round cyst in the epididymal head with posterior acoustic enhancement. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.